Hello, welcome back. Okay, so let's continue. Go to the next chapter. So this chapter, uh, uh, we got is from Michael. He created our larger ontology file already uh, with uh, some uh, more individuals. Uh, so from the tutorial, uh, the file uh, he's uh, uploading here. Uh, so uh, in the snapshot, uh, the my repository if you come to here from the prodigy pizza i also put this uh, file here called is a uh, pizza tutorial with data version 2 so if you uh, are difficult to download from here you you can go to uh, the repository to get the same uh, version 2 version uh, the file uh, i have already opened so you, you can uh, open this uh, after you saved your uh, previously uh, the, the modeling. Uh, so I will start from now to use the, this file called uh, this uh, pizza tutorial. But actually it's a pizza tutorial with data version 2. You can see here uh, the Mac already have some comments uh, in the active ontology. Uh, and then uh, it's uh, interesting is uh, you can now uh, let me uh, disk, uh, uh, the close this uh, tab uh, by default is uh, you don't have this uh, uh, the, the this uh, visualize uh, type uh, but this uh, uh, code is uh, on ontology uh, the visualization or graph so on graph uh, can be enabled from window tab you can see here Ontograph. If you enable that, is uh, you can get by default is uh, in the left is a class hierarchy, in the right is the ontograph. Uh, there's a no. I, I suppose you don't have this ontograph import view here, uh, but that is uh, added by uh, by myself. Uh, actually, remember uh, earlier is uh, we have done some uh, the exercise talking about how you can manage the user interface, uh, which means is that you can even close all this on this uh, tab, and you can come to here. So from view, you see, so you have a multiple uh, view. So if I go to the class view and I go to the ontograph, which I just uh, closed, and you can shift your move your cursor you can see uh, this uh, uh, the blue line they change uh, so I want to put the graph uh, the sub tab here so then you click then that's uh, this tab is back uh, so from this you can uh, add as much as uh, 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 the possible you, you want it uh, tab into or sub tab into uh, the, the main type uh, the thing is, uh, for this uh, ontograph, uh, it can help you visualize the relationship from class to individual. Uh, so if we back to the root thing, you click this uh, uh, plus, double click, then you can see it's expand like this uh, five branch. Uh, for this uh, with data, uh, all is uh, have uh, many uh, the additional things already like a uh, person and uh, uh, within person you can see uh, there's a customer employee and you can expand the uh, the employee they have uh, four roles customer they have uh, more roles so if we just uh, close these things and you can also see the relationship so here you can see here is customer uh, with uh, uh, purchase a pizza. Uh, so there's uh, also one restrictions uh, you can define. Uh, so onto graph can show you some interesting things. If you uh, click the left, uh, it can also uh, show here if it's not uh, expanded yet. Uh, if you close, uh, uh, click the base. So now it's uh, uh, highlighted uh, the, the base. And if you click the deep pan base, is uh, show up here. Uh, even this uh, not looks like good, but you can click here, then they, they will uh, the shift the uh, uh, customized view, uh, or you can look at like this way or this way from top to uh, down. 
so that's uh, depending on is uh, what what's your preference uh, to look at uh, this ontology. Uh, so that is one thing is uh, we introduce on this chapter eight about uh, this uh, ontograph. Uh, you can also think uh, uh, try to find some similar uh, plugin uh, like is uh, visualize. Uh, uh, the things uh, like uh, we introduced is uh, all these. Uh, that's also one thing is uh, we can uh, utilize that to uh, visualize your uh, the ontology. So uh, just for the different purpose. Uh, and on this, uh, uh, this data, all is uh, in the object uh, property. Uh, let's back to the entity and object property. Uh, there's uh, something is uh, additional, like a purchase by customer, purchase the space. Uh, so pur uh, purchase the pizza. Purchase pizza is the inverse of uh, purchased by customer. So there's uh, some uh, the additional uh, the property uh, created uh, for uh, next chapter. Uh, we will use uh, those for some query uh, purpose. And also has a specialist uh, preference. Uh, and also, uh, there's a high, uh, uh, that, that's the, the additional for object uh, property you can examine. And for the data property, we have uh, has discount with decimal as the range, uh, has phone with a string as the range, and also uh, social security number, also the, uh, the string, uh, the domain is the employee, uh, but has phone, domain is person. So uh, you, you can uh, see, there's uh, many uh, more properties, uh, and then is uh, if you come to the individual, uh, there's uh, many more individual besides uh, the uh, pizza individual we introduced uh, uh, earlier in our own uh, working model. Uh, you can check this as a full list, or you can go to this uh, individual by class. Uh, here is our tree structure that can show you the uh, those. Uh, individuals. Uh, and you, you know, here is the infer, here is the assert, so that is uh, uh, where we have uh, those kind of uh, uh, the different way then from the insert, uh, inferred you can see more pizza uh, based on those uh, you know, inferred rule uh, from this uh, asserted you see less uh, pizza uh, individual uh, because they are not uh, by the reasoner. Uh, to show that. So if you want to see the result of those uh, rules or restrictions uh, use this inferred, then you can get some calculation result, actually. Uh, okay, so that's uh, the thing. I hope is uh, through this video you can uh, get download this uh, uh, PISA tutorial with data version 2 uh, and open that in your uh, Prodigy. Uh, and familiar the additional contents uh, from this model and from chapter 9 let's uh, try to utilize this uh, to serve our query practice. See you then.